Hey everyone, it's Corey McCarthy, and welcome to a new episode. So, this video comes at you as part of a follow-up to my previous video titled Castration by Steroids, which I've linked below for you to check out, and partly in response to folks like Jason Blaha, who have claimed that your natural testosterone levels will decline with age. So, are guys like Jason Blaha right? Well, let's look at the recent research to try and reach an accurate conclusion. A paper was released in 2014 which analyzed the data from 16 studies of over 10,000 healthy men aged 3 through 101. They excluded any studies, for instance, that involved the ill or men on testosterone replacement drugs. This research was very well controlled and it was pretty fucking big, let's be honest here. They found that in healthy men, testosterone is low before puberty, that it rises by age 11 and peaks by age 19. Testosterone will decrease by about 15% between 19 and 40, but there is no evidence of progressive decline there on out. You heard that correctly. In healthy men over 40, testosterone does not appear to decline any further. In fact, in a large portion of the men of 40 and over, they had clinically high testosterone levels. This actually came as a shock to me as well, and has drastically changed my previous views on aging and hormone health, to be perfectly honest. So we're all learning something here, myself included. So where does this myth of age-declining testosterone actually come from? Based on large-scale five-year research published in 2012, which analyzed 1,382 men aged 35 to 80 who do not suffer medical complications or take any medications, it appears to be poor lifestyle choices and subsequent body changes. The researchers elaborated with examples like smoking, obesity, never getting married, and depression. Yeah, you heard that right, never getting married. Unmarried men had significantly lower testosterone than married men, as married men trended toward being happier and healthier. And enjoyed regular sexy time with their wives, which has a documented positive effect on testosterone. So if you're a guy who drinks, smokes, takes drugs, and or is terminally single, you should work on those things for a healthier and happier aging experience. I can already sense the uh, men go their own way types cringing right now, but hey, science doesn't agree with you. I'm just the messenger. So what do you do if you have already fucked yourself up with overindulgence and being excessively sedentary? Hint, this is the wrong answer on more than one level. Well, first of all, aside from the obvious dropping the bad habits and addictions, exercise fucking helps a lot. There exists a 2015 study from Japan on 44 fat men in their 50s. When these men paid attention to proper diet and exercise for just 12 weeks, their testosterone levels rose by over 9%. Now granted, these men only engaged in brisk walking and jogging a few times per week. So that leads me to wonder, would we have seen higher increases in testosterone had they pumped some iron? Well, science, what say you? As it turns out, strength training just three times per week over an extended period of time increases your natural anabolic hormone levels and decreases your catabolic stress hormones. In fact, the big T increases by about 40% just from picking some heavy shit up and putting that shit back down over and over again. But that brings us to the next part of this video. What about muscle as we age? Fear not, science has got you covered with that one too. There's a study from 2009 on 600 men and women, rather evenly divided up by gender and into age groups from 18 to 39. Over the course of 12 weeks, these men and women engaged in weight training program two times per week that progressively increased in weight and intensity. By the end of the 12 weeks, muscles of all participants became larger without any noticeable difference in gains. The only difference experienced were that the 18 to 19 year olds improved their one rep max by about 20% more than the 20 to 29 year olds, and 20 to 29 year olds improved their one rep max by about 8% more than the 30 to 39 year olds. But I repeat, uh, muscle growth was the same across all age groups. These results suggest that you shouldn't be discouraged from beginning weight training later in life. Your better years for muscle building are not necessarily behind you, barring any health complications. But what about those differences in strength gains? 
Yet another study from a year later, which compared 19 men aged 60 to 82 with 16 men aged 16 to 24, they found that while younger muscles are stronger, they have less training endurance over the course of exercise sets than healthy older muscles do. The researchers suspect that older muscles acquire their energy in a different way than younger muscles do. And that wraps things up. The key takeaways are, live a healthy life through both diet and exercise, specifically weight training. Refrain from smoking, drinking, and using drugs. Find a loving companion and enjoy a healthy sex life. And barring any health complications that are out of your control, worry not about the effects of age on your hormones and muscle mass. I hope you all found this informative, helpful, and even motivational. And if you enjoyed it, please like and share it. And if you enjoy my content in general, please consider making a donation to my Patreon, which is linked below. Even just a dollar a month to show your support and gratitude for my work. Also, please hit that subscribe button and keep on top of the regular updates, including my weekly Q&As, held live right here every Sunday. Finally, drop some comments below and stir up some discussion. But please post any comments you'd like me to respond to personally over at my blog, which is also linked below. With that, I want to thank you all for watching, and I will see you all in the next video.